Lafayette's best country, 95.7. Good afternoon. It's B. Adams, week three of Y95 Live. And uh, we've had some great guests already. I hope you guys have enjoyed Levi Riggs, uh, Grace Scott from the Grace Scott Band. And this week, we got a very special guest, longtime friend of mine, uh, one of my favorite vocalists, um, not just local artists, just in general, uh, in, in the world. One of my favorite vocalists in the world, John Ryan, everybody. Too kind, too kind. <laughs> I appreciate you having me up. I'm actually not kidding either when I say that. Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about your yeah. your vocal issues that you've had lately. But uh, aside from your vocal issues that you've had, you really do have one of the best voices. I appreciate that. I do. Um, where, tell everybody where you're from. Well, I'm from originally Greenwood. Do I, do I look at the camera or do I look at you? I don't know. I, I don't know which way to. <laughs> just, just look over. <laughs> just look at Brandon. All right. I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, <laughs> that's why I got the guitar here. No, uh, originally from Greenwood, Indiana. I live in uh, Trafalgar now. Uh, built a house in Trafalgar in 2018. So it's been well, six years or seven years. I Johnson know. County. Mm-hmm. And people that, if you've listened to me for a while, you probably know that's where I came from. So that's how I know John. So I actually got a part-time job at Texas Roadhouse <laughs> leading up to my wedding, which we've been married now seven years, coming up on eight this year. So um, that's about how long I've known you. John was actually uh, like a kitchen manager. I don't know if you were at the time, but I can't even remember what it was. I still remember uh, them telling me to go out and do like a final interview with you, but saying that you had the job <laughs> already. But we had to like you had. There's like a checks and balances kind of thing yeah. to where it's like two have to sign off, and they're like, "He has the job. This is just a formality." But I didn't know that. You didn't know I that. Didn't no, know that. you didn't. So know. I'm still like serious, and I don't. And I don't know you, so I'm trying to be serious too <laughs> this whole time, like asking <laughs> legit questions. The while well, the whole time I know you have the job, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've been friends ever since. Yeah, uh, lo- long story short, I worked at Roadhouse for a couple years leading up to the wedding to save money. I was still in radio at the time. This was just extra money for the wedding. And uh, John worked there for a long time and still does stuff there sometimes um, to help them out. But uh, I heard you sing one day or something, or somebody said, yeah, John sings, or you were, you were cutting meat or something (laughs) and you were singing. And I was like, I got to get this dude to come sing on the radio. And uh, so I convinced you to do that. And I learned then that you we're in a band before, like through high school, maybe a little after high school. High school and uh, like freshman year of college, yeah. But then you kind of like stopped for whatever reason. Quit chasing the pipe dream. I was kind of doing it on the side and yeah. saying, oh, I got to get an you know, actual job. So and is it safe to say I helped revive your- You did. Uh, yeah. you, you're, you're, one of the, you're one of the ones that yeah made, made me do this. I can't take credit for that. It's I all, all to it, you. It's all John Ryan. But uh, no, but I did have him come sing on the radio and uh, kind of from there, you kind of, you got back into it and- uh, now you've uh, been playing shows uh, kind of all over. you got some great originals. There's a song that you have, um, Already Miss You. And is that the first one you wrote like as a country artist? It's not. It actually, that song almost didn't happen. I Just a real quick, I want to tell a, st- uh, like a story on this. That song, I'm my ADHD is super bad. I have a ton of like half-written songs. Yeah. On a little notepad, I wrote down like the chorus of it, maybe like a verse. And then I just put it away. And my wife was cleaning out the side drawer one day, and she found it, and she saw it, and she's like, hey, would you want to do something with this song? And I looked at it, and I'm like, that's actually pretty good. Like, I wasn't so the one that wrote you know, wrote it's it, and I'm so like, good. oh, yeah, that, that's a good... And I sat down that day, and I finished it, and then I recorded it, and I... And we have over 10,000 plays on Spotify. So I have Apple to blame your, your wife, Heather, for my tears. Yes, yeah. So, so, so without you, her and you, you guys and you guys share a birthday, too. That's true. So without that's you guys. True. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, shout out, Heather. I love your wife. Um, so that song, Already Miss You, It's uh, uh, t- tell us about it real quick. It's a song about your daughter. It is, yeah. Uh, I wrote it when she was probably like two. Um and now she's six, and the song is really just exactly how it sounds. It's I'm looking at her as a two year old, and and knowing that time's gonna go quick, and I'm just like, man, I already miss you. I know you're gonna grow up and move away sooner than sooner than later. I know you, you know, <laughs> with two at home, understand, yeah, yeah, um, what it's like. And I, she's gonna be seven this year, which well, is it's crazy because you, you were saying she's six and getting going to be seven, and and Paisley just turned five, and I'm like, how did that happen? I know. But when that song, let me just stop right there and tell everybody, 
go check out that song. It's on YouTube, Spotify, whatever. Just search John Ryan, Already Miss You, especially if you are, you don't even have to be a dad. You can be a mom. If you have yeah. a, a daughter or it could even, even if you just have a son, doesn't just matter a kid what age, in general, what age either. I mean, go listen to that song. When you released that song, um, Paisley was just a little baby. And so like every night I'd be rocking her and I would sing that to her, of course, not as good as you, but I would sing that song to her every night when I would rock her and every single freaking night <laughs> I would cry because that song is so relatable. If you're a parent, go check it out. Already miss you by John Ryan. Uh, talking with John Ryan here on Y95 Live. This is week three of our live mu music segment. And uh, we're going to hear some music from John Ryan coming up here in just a few minutes. Can you stick around? I think so. I think <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> it's Y95 Live. Back on Y95 Live, hanging out with my buddy John Ryan today. He hails from uh, Johnson County, Indiana, down there in Trafalgar. Uh, grew up in the Greenwood area. And uh, you play shows kind of uh, all over now. Try to. Uh, mostly around central Indiana, but we're going to Kentucky in uh, August, staying down there. We're playing like Lake Cumberland, Lake Nolan. We're doing a festival in, in Louisville. Um, I know in July we got the Lawrence County Fair coming up, so tr trying, trying to slowly – Breach out. I know that you uh, went all the way to Kansas to open up. Was it Craig Morgan you opened up for? Uh, Craig Campbell. Craig Campbell. Yeah. Craig Campbell. Um, and uh, recently, uh, I don't remember if you played that show because I know it had gotten canceled. Have you played Slippery Noodle? I did. So yeah, Slippery I, I played Noodle, there on Monday night. Which is yeah. amazing. Uh, a legendary venue in downtown Indy. If people want to check out your uh, your tour, your schedule, where you're playing, what's the best place to go? Website, social media? You know, I have a website. I am terrible at updating it. JohnRyanMusic.com. <laughs> you can still go there for all the links uh, to my socials. But uh, I love how I'm looking at the camera to tell everybody. <laughs> but uh, John Ryan on Facebook, John Ryan Music on Facebook. Make sure you get the right one. There's a couple. And uh, actually, the guy that wrote uh, Fireball for Pitbull, like a producer, his his name's John Ryan, too. So a lot <laughs> of people. It's not the same guy. It's not the same guy. But I people, wish it was. They think it is. So I'll get a, a, a ton of like the Hispanic community will reach out to me and like a YouTube comment. It's all in Spanish. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, and I'll, I'll like translate it. I'll use like Google Translator. And it's like, hey, can I please do a cover of like this song, whatever song he wrote? And I always respond. C. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Or you should uh, you should just have like the fireball emoji saved and just constantly just use that. Always use it. Well, when I put stuff on Spotify and Apple Music, it always goes to him. No matter what. I even type in, I'm like, please put it on the right yeah. John Ryan. Right. Doesn't. It doesn't work. Which, hey, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it goes to him. I get more plays. I don't that's know. That's true, yeah. Uh, well, John <laughs> Ryan, uh, John Ryan, not the fireball John Ryan. <laughs> no. Well, in a certain sense, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Go check him out on uh, social media. Also, uh, John Ryan's a funny dude. He posts a lot of hilarious memes and gifts and stuff when he's promoting shows. Um, so go follow him on social media. But right now, we want to hear a song from you. What are we going to hear first? So we were talking about, Addy. I, I have a new one. It's unreleased. Um, it's called You Growing Old. I, the, the idea of the song was more or less like, I'm happy, you know, that – she's growing old and becoming the person she is, but also sad at the same time. And, you know, there's people that don't, as sad as it sounds, they don't get to experience that. Yeah. Uh, whether, you know, whether it's a tragic event or something like that. So I'm blessed to have a healthy daughter that's, that's getting old, but at the same time, I'm like, Man, I wish I could keep you, right, yeah. keep you at like four years old. Not right now. <laughs> so Her, so, sassy right now. So it's a song about your daughter. It's unreleased. unreleased. Have you ever played it before? I've played it one or two. Two times maybe at a live show to All kind right. of fill it out. I, so I, not many people have heard it. People Is heard it called Addy? It's What's not. it called? It's What's called it? You Growing Old. You Growing Old. All right. It's You Growing Old by John Ryan right now on <laughs> Y95 Live. <laughs> she ain't embarrassed of her daddy. She still holds my hand Tells me she loves me Puts no one above me But someday she'll forget this old man I know that I'm lucky It scares me to death It feels like it was just last week You were taking your first steps So I hold on to every good morning And I cherish every good night 
When I get mad, I remember I'm dead only one time in my life. So Lord bless me with patience and make time feel like it's moving slow. Cause nothing makes me more happy and more sad than you growing old. You look just like your mama, but have my foolish pride. Which scares me to death cause we're gonna bump heads and it'll tear me up inside. And I can't even picture what you'd be like when you're grown. I wish that I could stop time and keep you little at home. So I hold on to every good morning and I cherish every good night. When I get mad, I remember I'm dead only one time in my life. So Lord bless me with patience and let time feel like it's moving slow. Cause nothing makes me more happy and more sad than you growing old. I'm proud of what you're becoming and I'll be there every step of the way But that don't mean I can't get upset That I can't hold on to today So I hold on to every good morning And I cherish every good night When I get mad I remember I'm dead only one time in my life. So Lord bless me with patience and let time feel like it's moving slow. Cause nothing makes me more happy or more sad than you growing old. Cause nothing makes me more happy or more sad you growing on Wow, that's John Ryan. What's the name of the song again? You Growing Old. You Growing Old. You're just trying to get me in my feels this morning. <laughs> Another song about uh, being a, a parent, basically. And uh, man, that's going to compete with uh, Already Miss You now. I hope uh, so. Are you going to release that one? Am I, I going to be able to hear that when somewhere? I get this, when I get this fixed, when I, when I can lay down a good recording of it, I, I'll be, I'll put it out there. So he's talking about uh, he's had some vocal issues. Let, let, I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about that for a minute because I do want to ask you about that. Um, John Ryan is playing tonight uh, at the Ferguson House Beer Garden. Is that, that correct? Down in Nashville, yeah. Down in Nashville, People told Indiana. me to move to Nashville to start country music. And I, <laughs> I, I chose the, the wrong, the wrong one. <laughs> no, Na Nashville's great. I love Nashville. Brown County's awesome. Nashville. Indiana is a beautiful place. Uh, tomorrow, Sweetwater Lake. You, you like to do a lot of lake shows. Um, again, check out John Ryan Music on uh, social media. Uh, if you like what you hear, uh, check him out on Spotify, YouTube, TikTok. Um, he's got all kinds of great videos out there. And uh, we're going to talk with him more coming up in just a minute. It's John Ryan on Y95 Live. Back on Y95 Live, hanging out with my buddy John Ryan. John Ryan Music, you can find him on social media. Uh, if you missed the song he just played, well, you missed it. Good news, though, we will have video of this posted on all of our social media pages, YouTube, things like that. Uh, great voice, great artist. Uh, you kind of mentioned at the end there, you're not going to lay down the tracks, you're not, or you're not going to lay down uh, the vocals and record this song until you are kind of healed. Let's talk about that for a minute because you had some vocal issues. A ton. Uh, since since January, and I mean, I'm still struggling with them. Uh, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And it, it was really frustrating. I It got to the point to where uh, I thought about quitting music altogether. I mean, I couldn't get any anything out. And uh, I hit the cry emoji when I saw that post. I was like, nope, <laughs> not quitting. Yeah, it's it, it's been tough. But uh, the great people at IU Health after, you know, that's my fourth ENT to C, uh, went to see, they specialize in singers. Um, the, the whole team has been awesome. They figured out what was wrong with me has to do with, with, with COVID. Um, and they're noticing a lot, 
of stuff happening in singers' voices because of COVID, some chronic stuff, and I'm on a I'm rehabilitating it, and I have a breather that I forgot today. Like the most important <laughs> important thing for me to have when I'm about to sing, uh, I see a speech pathologist weekly, and they're hoping to have me back to 100 percent around August. Well, you said. you sound great, and uh, I can't wait to get you back to 100 percent because. If you think he sounds good now, just just wait till he is a hundred percent. So, like, what what is the process there? Like, do you have to do like exercises? So I did this like... breathing treatment. So what they said to try to keep it as short as possible. They said that um, COVID like ruined. I'm not a doctor. This is just kind of what they told me. And so they said that the uh, respiratory muscles got weakened with COVID, and I was I'm like 27 percent lower than the threshold needed to produce a good sound. And when that happens, it made me sing out of my throat a little bit more, and I hurt one of the muscles in my throat that control my vocal cords. Yeah. So essentially, I'm on a breathing treatment uh, that I do five times a day, and it's to strengthen the muscles in here again to get my um, respiratory strength back. And then I see a speech pathologist to work on this muscle. Essentially, they said they're kind of putting training wheels back on my vocal cords. And we're going to work them out. And then hopefully here in about two months, I'll have that strength back to be able to Well, I can't wait again. to have you back at, at 100%. I can't wait either. As I mentioned, you you truly are, and I'm not just saying this because you're my friend, you truly are one of my favorite voices in music. And I'm not talking just local or up and coming. I'm talking anybody. Well, you're my favorite voice in radio, so <laughs> it's, a, it's mutual. <laughs> Uh, we paid each other to say yeah. that. Yeah, he uh, he gave me some uh, koozies. Uh, no, but hey, speaking of which, uh, you do have some merch. Uh, how can people get merch? Do they just need to follow you on I social do. media? They can do that. I I love it if uh, you, to meet you in person. So I, I like a lot of uh, in person. Come to a show yeah. to, to get some merch. Right. I, I forgot your sweatshirt again. Which, I'll forgive you. You know what? It's I think when it's, it's what, 100 90, degrees. <laughs> I think I'll forgive outside. you today. The shirt you ordered in December, <laughs> it's, I, or the sweatshirt, and still don't have it. But yeah, come to a show and, and say hi. I, I see a lot of people. Time, you know, they'll they'll talk to me. They'll be like, "This is the third show. We finally talked to you. First time you come out, so come up and talk to me. I promise, I'm I'm not mean at, yeah. at all. I'll, well, I'll, I thought it was so cute. You have a lot of like uh, like young fans, and your your music's clean, right? You don't you don't get crazy or anything with your lyrics. I and, try to I try to stay clean as possible. And, and, well, I think it's cool because friendly. I've seen a lot of like younger kids. And this was a while ago. I'm sure you remember it, but you posted it. Somebody like drew something. And it was like best vocalist in the world or something. Oh, and it was yes. like you and... Uh, well, I his name's John Ryan. Shout out to John Ryan. Little John Ryan is little what we John call him. He'll come to show. He loves... Yeah, yeah. He loves Luke little Combs. John. <laughs> little, little John. <laughs> He comes to shows uh, that are, you know, the family friendly shows, and I'll get him on stage to sing. And uh, he loves Luke Combs. But yeah, he said, he said, what was it? Me, Luke Combs, and Morgan Wallen are the, the top three vocals. And you'll so take it. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll put, put, well, put me in that <laughs> with those guys. Super cute. Uh, well, speaking of the merch, uh, I don't know if uh, the camera can see this. I don't cover up my own brand very often. You know, I got B. Adams oh, on look the at air that. here, but I, I covered it up today. Uh, if you're watching, if you're listening, obviously you can't see it, but you can go check out the video. John Ryan koozies, these are pretty cool. I got one here. Uh, he's also got the floating uh, koozies, some stickers, and yeah, as he mentioned, the the floating koozies. Um, and then he's got you know sweatshirts and things like that. So uh, go uh, find him on social media, John Ryan Music. All made check by my sister too. Got. Oh really? Yeah, my sister makes all that stuff. Shout out Mia. Shout out Mia. <laughs> All the shout outs today. Ch chatting with John Ryan music. Uh, we're going to wrap this baby up here in just a minute, uh, but we're going to hear one more song before we go. Can you hang out for just one more segment? I think I can do that for you. <laughs> just for you. It's John Ryan on Y95 Live. Back on Y95 Live for one last segment. It's 95.7. I'm B. Adams, joined by John Ryan. This is week three of Y95 Live. I've been chatting with my buddy here, uh, hopefully uh, getting a few new fans uh, up this way. Um, because I know people love your voice, and uh, I know we've been trying to get you some shows up this way too. So maybe we can keep working. I know, I'd on love that. to. Get, I'd love to get up here. It's hard. It's I, hard. And hard. I, to... I know we've had a few venues. Uh, one actually reached out to me asking about you. So we need we need to make that happen. Um, so if you are a venue listening right now, or you know somebody that books shows up this way, and you like what you hear, reach out to me. I can get you in touch with uh, with John. Uh, but let's hear uh, let's hear one more song live, and I don't want to talk too much. I just want to hear your voice. Uh, what are we going to hear this time? We'll do a little fun one. Uh, a lot of my songs are on hiatus right now because I can't reach the reach the notes, and I refuse to change my songs to kind of fit it. I like them to be played the way they are. So I'm gonna do a fun one uh, called "Headed South." I, I wrote this one when it was like. Uh, Two degrees outside. I was. I remember just looking at the snow on the ground, like, man, I wish, <laughs> I wish I could head south. So it's kind of like I love living in Indiana. I'm born and raised Hoosier, but uh, I want to 
you know, go to Florida during the winter. You know, <laughs> so, uh, so you wrote this back when I should have had my sweater. Exactly. <laughs> Everything kind of revolve around around winter. I'm already dreading it. June's flying. I it already is, know it's dude. gonna be it is. it's gonna be there. It but is. yeah, this one's called Headed South. So All right, let's hear it. It's John Ryan on Y95 Live. This song's called Heading South. Don't get me wrong, I love my state But it seems soon as the summer gets here The summer's gone away and it's too damn cold For too dang long All I can think about are my shades and flip-flops on So I'm headed south with no place to be Gonna find the best tiki bar that overlooks the beach and I drink the special whatever strong could you drop that fruity drink with a little 151 that's the place for me the only weather I need I'm headed south and you all know that I love the lake but the lake around here is closed from October to May And the seasons are fun for about a month But sitting inside ain't good for anyone So I'm headed south with no place to be Gonna find the best tiki bar that overlooks the beach And I'll drink the special Whatever strong Could you top that fruity drink With a little 151 That's the place for me The only weather I need I'm headed south I really wish that I could stay but reality gets in the way of me staying south with no place to be. Gonna find the best tiki bar that overlooks the beach, but I drink the special or whatever strong. Could you top that fruity drink with the Cardi 151? That's the place for me. The only weather I need Where the ocean meets those tall palm trees I'm headed south I'm headed south I'm headed south Yeah, can you take me with you? <laughs> <laughs> Headed south. That's John Ryan. John Ryan Music. If you like what you hear, go find him on social media. Just search John Ryan Music. Just make sure it's not a Pitbull's guy. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, producer. It's, it's not Pitbull's. Yeah, producer. follow him too. Follow, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He's gonna get all these random follows. Like, who are these people in Lafayette, Indiana? Uh, appreciate you coming in, my man. I know you had to uh, drive up about an hour and a half today, so uh, we appreciate it. Uh, have fun at your show tonight. Uh, go check out uh, his full uh, schedule of shows. Again, John Ryan Music on social media, and uh, yell at him about updating his website. And uh, hopefully we can get some shows up this way in Lafayette uh, because I know uh, you probably made some new fans today and get some merch I'd of his to. as well. Uh, John, is there anything we want to mention before we let you go or are we good? We're good, man. Just always a pleasure seeing you. Appreciate you having me up. Boom. It's John Ryan, everybody. <laughs> Y95 Live. Woo!